So I'm leading the theme on access to knowledge. And access to knowledge is important in a number of ways. One reason it's important is that with um, internet platforms, artificial intelligence, and algorithmic decision making, it's important for the public to be able to have access to information about how those systems operate so that we can make them more transparent and accountable. The other reason why access to knowledge is important is because oftentimes it serves as an input to the creative economy. So firms, businesses, and other institutions use stuff that's in the public domain or held in museums, archives, and libraries to generate new um, you know, productions. There's so many recent developments in access to knowledge. So I think one of the main areas is uh, to do with access to knowledge, which is produced by institutions like our university. Um, you know, there are current debates around um, open publishing, access to research data, and all of those things, while important for um, the public interest, pose challenges to researchers to be able to deliver. So I think one of our challenges is to try to provide advice uh, and frameworks so that those uh, sources of knowledge can be made more public and more accessible. So one of the challenges with access to knowledge right now is how software is being embedded more and more into physical devices. So you might know that your car, even your toaster, even your shower uh, has microchips in there and might be connected to the internet. And that software is protected by copyright law. It makes it really hard for folks to repair devices that they own or to get in and uh, render interoperable um, devices that they might want to build a complementary product for. At the moment, we're looking at possible reforms to copyright law to make it easier for folks to uh, work with software which is in their embedded devices.